Hi, my name is Troy Kyle. I'm a design student at the Massachusetts College of Art and Design, and I've been living with type 1 diabetes for over nine years. I've spent the last school year researching and developing a product to aid in the management of type 1 diabetes. Remora is a continuous glucose monitoring system comprised of a tiny glucose sensor and Bluetooth transmitter that wirelessly communicates with the Apple iPhone. The sensor and transmitter are housed in a silicone rubber unit that is worn on the abdomen, similar to available continuous blood glucose monitors. The shape of the unit was inspired by the specialized sucker of the remora, a parasitic fish that attaches itself to sharks for transportation and protection. The sensor transmitter unit has a smooth low profile to avoid getting snagged on clothing or being knocked off. And because the unit is made from a flexible rubber, it won't dig into you when you lean over like current hard plastic sensors do. Every five minutes, your glucose level is sent to the iPhone where the user can discreetly view it. Trend arrows show whether glucose levels are moving down or up, and rapid changes are indicated by double arrows. An audible alarm will sound if the user's blood sugar drops below 70 mg per deciliter or above 200. Previous readings can be viewed in a graphical format as well as uploaded to the user's doctor's office. So let's run through a worst case scenario involving the Remora Continuous Glucose Monitoring System. Dave is riding on the subway when his alarm goes off. He discreetly checks his iPhone and sees that he has low blood sugar. Normally he would just drink some juice and that would be it. But what if he doesn't have anything with him? He decides to wait until his stop to grab something. By the time he gets to his stop, he is in a haze and ends up passing out at the train station. Most people walking by assume that he is just drunk until the alarm goes off again and someone stops to help. But what if no one is around to help? If Dave's glucose continues to drop, the iPhone automatically calls 911 as well as his emergency contacts with a pre-recorded message. Using the iPhone's built-in GPS capabilities, the medics from 911 know exactly where Dave is located.